Hi friends! So I am here to read your second book for this Friday and the second book about dogs. So this one is called Benny and I think some of you may know this book if I've had a chance to read it with you but even if you have you might enjoy it again. Um, this book was actually not easy for me to find. It was not in any bookstores, so I had to really search for it on the internet, and I finally found a copy that used to belong to the Cambridge Public Library in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So it's got this nice library covering on. I know it's going to be protected forever. And I'm going to go ahead and jump to the end so you can see a picture of the author and his dog. The author's name is Sid Postuma and he is in the Netherlands. I don't know if he's alive anymore, but he clearly loved his dog, and I have a feeling that Benny is kind of a little bit like his dog. Okay, here's the cover again, and here are the very fun and doggy type end papers. Benny. Benny can't find his bone. He's sniffed everywhere. He can't understand it. Where could it be? No matter where he looks, no matter how deep he digs, it's nowhere to be found. I really sniffed everywhere, he thinks. The bone is Benny's favorite. He's never lost it before. Without his bone, life is no fun. Slowly, Benny heads for home. Look at how he drew that expression on his face to show how sad he is. Sad, right, Maisie? Don't you think my flowers smell lovely? Asks Mrs. Dash. They look lovely, Benny says but I don't smell a thing. Mm. Benny, no treat today, asks Spot. Benny sniffs. How strange, that delicious bakery smell is gone. By the way, did you see that little detail down here? A little mouse. At home, it's no better. He sniffs frantically. What does frantically mean? It means kind of <gasps> crazily and with urgency, like he really wants to find it. He can't smell the leathery old boots, the musty box, the soap bubbles, the stale air, the wonderful filthy dog poop, or the fresh tart apples. All the smells are gone. Hmm. Students, I wonder what you think is happening. Why do you think all the smells are gone? Hmm. What do you think, Maisie? She doesn't really know yet. Benny can't even smell his mother's special pie. He can't smell anything. Ooh, there's a little hint right there. Look at that. Hmm. If you don't want any pie, Benny's mom says, something must be wrong. Let's go see the doctor. What seems to be the trouble? Dr. Duncan asks. I can't smell any smells, answers Benny. Say ah. Dr. Duncan looks at Benny's throat. Hmm, he says. I think we'd better try the sniff machine. Now, some of you have seen this book before and you know that the sniff machine is a two-page illustration. <gasps> Are we ready to see it? There's no words on this page, only the illustration of the sniff machine. You can try to trace it even on your screen. You can try to trace from where his nose is and going all the way and see if you can make it all the way to what they're trying to make him smell. Whew. It 
It's nothing serious, the doctor says. He has a little cold. Keep him warm. Steam will help, too. And rest, of course. Plenty of rest. He'll be better in no time. <laughs> Benny's mom tucks him into bed with a nice hot water bottle. Benny stays in bed for two days and two nights. Then something wonderful gets him up. Benny runs into the kitchen. Mmm, bacon! His mom laughs. You sound like your old self again. And look at him kind of leaping into the room. He smells the flowers, the apples, the delicious bakery smell. And exactly where he buried his bone. At last. He rushes home to tell his mom the good news. He snuggles on her lap. She smells better than anything else in the whole world. And that's the end. Okay, my friends. Oh, <laughs> Maisie's cleaning her paws. My friends, I'm so glad I got to read that with you or to you. And um, we will have a very fun writing prompt today. And you can take your time doing it over the weekend. I hope you have a great, great rest of your Friday. And I will see you soon. Bye.